name is Carrie. I'm so glad you're here. It's Hope Month. Every year, we pick one month where all the people at Grace Church, kids, students, adults, everybody, learns the same lessons from the Bible. We pick a topic that God cares a lot about, and we learn together how we can be involved in His healing work, fixing things that are broken, and it's awesome. So when you leave church today, you can compare notes with your family, your friends, whoever you came with, see what you learned, see what they learned, and don't forget about our challenges, weekend of service, all of that to put these things into action. So we started Hope Month a couple weeks ago with the question, why should I care about God's creation? And we learned that God cares about his creation, so we should too. He made this amazing world and he wants us to take care of it. Then last week we asked the question, well, what should we do? And there are tons of answers to this, right? Pick up trash, plant a garden, recycle, so many, so many. I'm sure you've talked about this at school, you've seen YouTube videos that remind you this is important, you know this. But we also talked about the reason that we do these things. We care for creation because it shows love to God and it connects us to Him, yeah. All right, now that brings us to our question for today. Can I get a drum roll, please? What if it's not enough? Well, good question. Maybe you have wondered this. Maybe you've like picked up trash, but there's still tons left on the side of the road. Or maybe you start thinking about pollution and endangered species, and it just seems so overwhelming, right? These problems are so big. It might make you wonder if anything we do could possibly make any difference or help. Well, that's what we're gonna look into today. Spoiler alert, yes it does. It does make a difference, okay? So let's start with some examples that the Bible gives us about small things that make a big difference. Here is what Jesus said in Luke chapter 13. Jesus said, what is the kingdom of God like? How can I illustrate it? It is like a tiny mustard seed that a man planted in a garden. It grows and becomes a tree and the birds make nests in its branches. So tiny seeds grow into bushes or trees. Bushes and trees create homes for animals and insects, and many plants and trees create food for us or for other creatures. But it all started, something teeny tiny, little mustard seed can grow into something really big. Here's another example, still in Luke 13. He also asked, what else is the kingdom of God like? It is like the yeast a woman used in making bread. Even though she put only a little yeast in three measures of flour, it permeated every part of the dough. Have you ever helped at home making homemade bread or pizza dough or cinnamon rolls, anything like that? Well, one of the ingredients you need to make those delicious, yummy things is yeast. It's this teeny little part of the recipe, but it's what makes the dough or the bread rise and get all fluffy and airy. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh, it makes me so hungry just thinking about it. Okay, speaking of hungry, there's a Bible story that illustrates this idea also. Have you heard about the time Jesus fed 5,000 people with just one kid's lunch? Have you heard this story? So all these people were gathered. They were listening to Jesus teach. They were out in the middle of nowhere. It was getting towards the end of the day and everybody was getting a little hungry. Well, the disciples told Jesus, like, hey, we need to feed these people, but like, we don't have any food. And all they could find was one kid who had lunch, and it was like five loaves of bread, like little ones, and like two fish. Um, and that might be enough for, you know, one family, but definitely there's no way this could be enough for 5,000 families, right, for this massive crowd. Until, until Jesus took over. You see, Jesus took that small amount of food he prayed over it, and then he started passing it out. And he kept passing it out, and he kept passing it out, and he kept passing it out until everyone had enough. Jesus started with something so small, one little lunch, and he did something big and huge with it. So all of these examples are proof of our big idea for today. Can you read this with me? When we do small things, God will do big things. Let's say that again. 
When we do small things, God will do big things. Now let's think about this relating to the idea of caring for creation. Okay, here are some interesting facts that hopefully will inspire you. Number one, turning off the water while you brush your teeth can save three or four gallons of water per person per day. So just turn off the water, brush, 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 spit, turn it off, all that, saves water. Okay, here's another fact. Recycling a single aluminum can saves enough energy to run a television or computer for three hours. One can, energy for three hours? That's awesome. Okay, here's the last one. Planting one tree makes a difference in the amount of pollution in the air because one mature leafy tree absorbs carbon dioxide and turns it into oxygen, enough oxygen to support two people. One tree, oxygen for two people. Isn't that amazing? These small actions add up. Can you imagine the difference it would make if every single one of us planted a tree? Or if every single one of us recycled a can? That would be awesome. It would make a big difference. And most of all, we can't forget that when we do our part of this, our do small things, we can trust and believe that God will do big things, that he'll do the rest. Listen to our Bible verse for today. It's Ephesians 3.20. Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. He can do more than we could ask or than we could even think. Friends, God will work through us to do so much. Nothing is too hard for him, nothing. So we don't need to be discouraged or wonder if our efforts to care for creation make a difference. We don't need to wonder because we know they do because God can do anything. All right, friends, that's all for GK TV today. I'll say goodbye for now. Hope you have a great time at Weekend of Service next week and we'll see you back here later.